Okay, this is lesson two from the Landmark 3 book. Today's lesson is entitled, Blood is Blood. Uh, I will read and explain some of the vocabulary as I read, okay? Okay, so Charles Drew was born in Washington, D.C. in 1904. When Drew was 15, his sister died of tuberculosis. As he watched her condition get worse, Drew wished he could do something to help. It was then, it was then that he first thought about the possibility of becoming a doctor. Okay. Now what I've done here is I've written some vocabulary for you uh, and some things that you should know. Okay, so of course set phrases, and I think you know, born in. He was born in. Born can be born in a place or born in a year. I was born in 1955. That's not true, but <laughs> he was born in, in, in 1904. He was born in Washington. When someone dies, we say he died of disease. He died of. Tuberculosis is this disease. I forgot to kikaku. I forgot. Uh, tuber, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Remember, we don't say two, but tuberculosis. The word condition, it says, as he watched her condition get worse, uh, this word here, condition, condition is used too much by Japanese. Um, when you are sick, we say, I'm sick. Um, many Japanese say, I'm in bad condition. No, I'm in bad shape. Shape is more conversational, see? Shape is conversational, condition is formal. If you're a doctor, you can say condition. Um, condition could be if we're talking about someone's athletic performance. He's in good physical condition because he's an athlete. But generally speaking, I'm in good shape. Um, how's your, your English listening or your English grammar is in good shape, for example? Well, that's more choshi to go, okay? Um, bad, worse, worst, right? Just a reminder, I think you remember. Bad, worse, worst, good, better, best. Mm. Now when we use wish, wish is an impossible situation. The difference between wish and hope is wish is impossible. So if you have a test tomorrow, I hope you do well. If I had a test yesterday and I failed, I can say, I wish I passed. Hmm. Or I ate something, I ate too much food. Oh, I wish I hadn't eaten so much. It's impossible. That's impossible because it already happened, right? So here's some example, uh, some examples of the wish sentences. We say, I wish I could fly. I wish you would shut up. <laughs> Um, this, these are katejo sentences. See, so with a katejo sentence, the hypothetical sentence, we use past tense. I wish I could. I wish I can is a muscle. I wish you would. I wish you will. No. I wish you would. Damete I wish you would shut up. Uh, I wish I didn't have to go to school. That means I have to go to school. Okay. Um, it was then... It was then that he first thought about the possibility of becoming a doctor. It was then means sono shunkan, at that moment. It was then. Okay. Uh, he first thought about the possibility. Oh, so, oh yes, this is, just a minute. Oh, this is, oh, I'm sorry, this is, this is, uh, this is, this is the noun thought. I made a mistake here. There is, two, there are two thoughts. One is the noun thought, and then there's just the past thing. This is the past thing, think, thought. This is just kangaita, kangaita, right? Whoops. Okay, so that's just the um, just the doshi. Okay, <laughs> I can't type. Okay, there we go. Kangaita. Okay, Japanese is hard. Okay, so uh, it was then that he first thought about the possibility. So I had a thought. Chuto omoitsuita. I kangaita. Komoitsuki, I had a thought. So let's do two sentences, you know. I had a thought. Whoops. And then that's a noun. And I thought of something. Chotto kangaita. Okay. Possibility just kind of say. Okay, paragraph two. There was only one problem with his idea. Drew was an African-American. In those days, much of American society was segregated or separated on racial lines. Black people and white people went to different schools and could not sit together in restaurants or on buses. 
Only a handful of colleges would accept African-American students, and medical school would be another hurdle beyond college. But Charles Drew managed to succeed in spite of all the difficulties. Here's some vocabulary for you. African-American, of course, is the more politically correct, shakai good way to say black in America. Um, some people don't like that word. They think black is better, but it's, it, it really depends on the person. Nowadays, I think more people say African-American. Personally, I think black is fine, but uh, anyway. Segregated means separated by race or color. In this case, jinshu, jinshu that came right? Segregated. All the black people here, all the white people here. A handful is a small amount. Just te dem mochi ageru gurai no kazu. Handful, right? Maybe five, maybe ten. A small amount. Uh, a hurdle is a problem, some, like something you have to get over. Kind of a ja, something that's jama, it's a hurdle. I have a few problems I have to get over. So in this case, we can say, Jia uh, Shinko, Japanese, I forgot, Fusageru, Kabe. Anyway, a problem that you have to get over, it's a hurdle. Not, a, not exactly a wall, but a hurdle. Manage to is the verb that we use. Uh, for anything that's difficult to do. Okay, for example, I managed to finish the whole book in one day. Or I, had, I bought a, big, a, a pizza, but I couldn't manage, manage to eat the whole thing. It's too much. In spite of is a very useful grammar expression. Uh, in spite of. Uh, in spite of all the difficulties, in this case, right? That's ni mo kakawarazu, in spite of. Um, um, yes. Here's an example. In spite of being ugly, <laughs> this is my funny example. In spite of being ugly, poor, and mean, he had a wonderful girlfriend. So he was ugly and poor, no money, and mean, ijiwaru. But he had a wonderful girlfriend. Paragraph three. Paragraph three. In high school, drew through, drew, in high school, Drew was a strong student and an outstanding athlete. Eventually, he was offered a scholarship to go to college. At college, Drew was the most valuable player on the football team and the captain of the track team. He could probably, he could probably have become a pre professional athlete, but he remained interested in science and medicine. In 1928, he entered a medical school in Canada and began his lifelong study of blood. Okay, paragraph three. Outstanding, outstanding is so just very, very good. Outstanding is a very, you can say outstanding as a wor one word, home Oh, outstanding. How was dinner? Oh, it was outstanding. Okay. Uh, eventually means in the end, after a long time, uh, eventually. He eventually died, or he eventually graduated. It took a long time, <laughs> okay? Valuable is more important, most important. Valuable, not most, well, just very, but I guess not most, but very. Let's, let's change to very, very important. Uh, okay, good. Paragraph four, how do we go to paragraph four? Just a minute. Paragraph four, paragraph four. Just a minute, what's, what, what's wrong with this? Oh, there we go, okay, paragraph four. In the 1930s and 40s, doctors did, no, did know that people who lost a lot of blood could be given new blood in a procedure called a blood transfusion. But it wasn't easy to get a blood transfusion. There, were, there was no way to keep blood fresh or take it where people might need it. Drew discovered that if he removed the solid cells, like red blood cells in blood, and kept only the liquid part, which was called plasma, the blood could be stored for a long time. It could then be used in transfusions whenever and wherever it was needed. After making this discovery, Drew set up the first blood bank in New York City. Okay. A procedure is some small thing that you have to do. For example, if you, have a, if you go to the dentist and they have to take out a tooth, that's a procedure, right? So a small, sometimes operation, or just something the doctor has to do, usually. Usually, usually a doctor does a procedure. Okay, procedure. A procedure also is uh, the way you do get something done. So in this case, uh, the procedure for getting a, pr a driver's license. There's a, there's a special procedure. You have to go to the, 
driver's license, maybe you have to go to driving school and then take a test and take a picture, there's a procedure. Uh, okay, blood transfusion, these are just words you should know, okay, blood transfusion. Keep fresh, keep something fresh, or keep Keep the milk fresh, keep the vegetables fresh, keep the food fresh. Discover is find out or mahaken suru. He discovered. He, he discovered. Um, yeah, he found out something. Like he didn't know and now he knows. He discovered. A plasma, it's the same in Japanese, plasma. This is blood without the red blood cells, just the liquid parts. Liquid is ekitai, just the liquid part. To store is to keep something. Whenever and wherever. You can invert this. You can say wherever, wherever and whenever. Whenever and wherever. Anytime, anywhere. Same thing. Um, but anytime, anywhere is more conversational. I'll meet you anytime, anywhere. You want to fight? Okay, anytime, anywhere. You might see that in a movie. Uh, set up, established. He set up the first blood First, blood bank. So blood bank is where you get the blood, where people are sick. Okay, paragraph five. Let's see if we can blow this up a, a little bit. There we go. Paragraph five. When America entered World War II, many people were wounded and needed blood transfusions. Charles Drew suggested sending plasma instead of whole blood. He started collecting blood, separating the plasma, and shipping it safely to injured people. He then became the first director of the blood bank of the American Red Cross. Although his work, I'll do the whole page, although his work saved thousands of lives, the army told the Red Cross to keep blood donated by black people separate from blood donated by whites. Some white people disliked black so much that they did not want to get any black blood, even if it might save their lives. Charles Drew explained that this was not right. There is no such thing as black and white blood. Blood is blood. But no one listened. To make his point, Drew resigned from the Red Cross in protest. The Red Cross continued to segregate blood on racial grounds throughout World War II. But civil rights reformers eventually persuaded the organization to stop this racist practice. To be injured, or is, to be wounded is the same as to be injured, but uh, usually someone attacked you. Uh, so, kega sareta. To suggest is teyan suru, but to give advice. To, I'm sorry, there's a typo. To give advice. Injured is the keoshi, the adjective to describe someone who is hurt. Oh, I'm injured. Director is someone who is in charge of something like, like the boss, okay, the director of the blood bank. Paragraph six, dislike. Dislike is not as strong as hate. Hate is stronger. Dislike is a little bit less, but still not good. Um, I dislike umeboshi, but I don't hate umeboshi. It's just, hate is really strong. <laughs> what do I hate? I hate people who throw garbage on the ground. I hate that. Don't do it. Make a point. Shuchosuru. Um, I made a point. I said something I wanted to say. To resign. To resign is the formal way to say yameru or quit. Okay? Um, I, if I quit my job, I just say I quit my job. But like the president of a company, he resigns. So a high level person resigns. In, in protest is to show because you're against something or you're angry. So I resigned in protest. Some people do other things. For example, they march in protest or they, um, what else do they do in protest? They make a sign in protest or, or, or some people stop eating in protest. People who are like prisoners. Came shodin haitere hitotachi, sometimes a prisoner. They, they stop eating in protest. Here we have together, resign and protest together what does I say? Kogi shite. I forgot. In shokusuru? I don't know. Ji chi shokusuru? Anyway, kanji is difficult. Resign in protest. That's all. This is English, so don't worry. On racial grounds means because of race. Race is the reason. So, jinshu wa. What does it say? Jinshu tekina ryu de. Yeah. Okay, that's correct. 
on racial grounds. To persuade, we talked about this set to consider, right? Um, some civil rights reformers uh, persuaded. Civil rights, civil rights are people who fight for, everybody, for everyone be treated fairly. So I think everyone has the same rights. We call those civil rights. Uh, racist practice. Yes, this is a racist practice. All black people must go over there. That's a racist practice. Okay, good. Last one. Paragraph seven. This is an easy one today. Paragraph seven. To set an example. Okay, let's let's go backwards. To set an example is mihon or das or skurikota. You can set a good example or you can set a bad example. Both are both are possible. Because achieve something is to do something or accomplish accomplish something. Nashitogerukoto, right? He achieved. He reached. A, a, a level. He achieved a lot. He did a lot. So, yeah, achieve is like a very uh, nice word for do. <laughs> Dikta, right? Worth is the same as value. Kachi. Okay. Here's a small paragraph. By using his talents to help other, by using his talents to help other people, Charles Drew set an example for people of all races. He proved that it is what you achieve in life, not the color of your skin, that shows your true worth as a person. And that's your video. I hope that helped you study. I will give you this paper that I, I created. I'll give it to you in class. Okay? Thank you. And um, see you in the next video. Or see you in class. <laughs>